Hey guys, hey guys, girls and I'm by pals, the last time I'm my to be a Harry Potter, let's tip in Harry Potter, X male rear, let's go. And this story story is the murderer's son. Here you guys go. Tony was seen in the great hall of my his own business when three students walked up to him. Are you Professor Commodore's son? asked the first first year. Yes. And who might you be? I am Hermione Granger. I wanted to ask if you can help us. Hermione asked briskly. Is there a problem? Tony looked at the three. Well, you'll see. Ron and the moon bright has said. There was an accident in the same classroom. What did you do? Tori looked at the glasses kid. Well, it wasn't my fault. The glasses kid said, look at Tori. Knowing that one of you made explosion in Professor Stamp's room. I'm putting my finger out to follow the Weasley kid. What would you say that? Weasley said. Getting angry at him. Because I know what we listen to steal. I forget the one in a simple part of the potion, except for Percy, though. He seems to develop for anything. Don't even remember what Percy told him. He never gets anything that's full of time. But for George, he yeah, has has to be a problem. Tony looked at the Weasley. You must be wrong, Weasley. Fred, George, and Percy talked a lot about you. I asked you, I'm Ronald Weasley. Just call me Ron, Rod said, smiling. That's you, I'm Tony. Tony Dumbledore, son of Albus Dumbledore. But again, what did it? Then you smart kid and where's your hat? It was my me, my estate. I was shocked that Tony looked at it especially. You're the one that caused the explosion? I am um, forgot a part of the person, Hermione said. We don't want to get in trouble with him, Mr. Snape. Hermione said, scare her mind. Don't worry, I got it to a war round to Snape's office before he could enter his classroom. What is he playing, Hermione said. I don't know, let's follow him. So he's still in the classroom acting like he just made explosion wiping whatever chemical was on and my and the three did. Snape so opened the classroom door and see to his dinner with a mysterious chemical on his face. Did you do this? Professor Snape asked. Uh yeah, sorry, I was trying something new. So I gave you a cheapest look. I know it wasn't you with three voices. I made a shell clothes. So I look at Snape. Now three first years. Oh, that the shell seems was popping immediately. So I said, it's first time he wanted to scratch it. Snape started by rushing him to his class, his office. Come here now, he said. A knuckle instinct, a godfather instinct kicked in immediately. I mean, whatever was on that table, it would be a chemical reaction by now. Tony followed Snape to his office, sound the desk like normal, as it always happens, whether Tony runs whatever a student created on its face, not knowing what would come after it. Snape grabbed a wet cloth and started rubbing it against Tony's irritated skin. Don't move, it will burn. But, you know, I don't even know what they were created. Yeah, again, I did it again. Yes, you wiped it all over your face this time. This is going to hurt you more than it hurt me. Snape said with a, a sad but destructive voice. Why do you always do this? He looked at his godson in the eyes. Because I don't want you to get mad at people. So I said, looking at a tree in the eyes of Snape. But your father will be upset. I don't care what your father is going to do to the three. If it means that I protected them, Toys said, smiling. 
That is what a uh, fourth year should do. You're not a fourth year yet. Snip said, small sign. But I am one of the strongest wizards out there. I get a new chemical board. You smile at Snape while the water feeling the tingling sensation of water mixed with the layer of potion was created. They're done. Now it's time to put the ointment on. Snape said, looking at Tony suspiciously, You're scarring from when you were kids it's still there. Snape said, looking at his godson, Don't worry, Godfather. I'll take it. Tony said, giving him a proud smile. Snape said, I will buy the ointment. Making sure every spot of his face was covered. This is another time that you keep doing this. You're going to get more scarring, Snape said, sighing. I don't care, it means that more students will be okay when I'm around. So he said, smiling. Yes, but it ends up with your face scarred over the years. More scars to show that I'm powerful. So I smile and watch a staple of light. Skin cream on his face. To cover up every scar that was invisible to the naked eye. There, you don't look like you're had scars ever. Snape said, smiling. See, I'm all better now. Can I go now, Professor Snape? Yes, I'll clean up the mask. Snape said, not in the morning toy to touch it ever again. Clean up toys, had to let us shame him out. Please go to Poppy when if you need anything. Snape said to rush him out of the classroom so he doesn't go back to the table to do something silly like normal. Sure thing, Godfather, leave me into the Great Hall again. Once he got back, he saw the three standing there for Tony and Fred George. What did you do? Do what you do again? Fred asked, like he knew that Tony was going to rub with the whole portion on his face again. Yeah, more scars this time. You really need to stop doing that, Fred said, giving him a look. What well, happened to Percy frowned out? Fred knew Tony liked Percy, but Tony thought, Look, Fred, I can't just tell Percy that I did it again. You did what? Percy mumbled into Tony's ear. I did nothing, I swear, Tony. Did sleep with more cream on your face from an accident? I covered up for the first year's boy at the three, standing there waving like it wasn't their fault. You three went into Sam's classroom to make a potion, didn't you? Percy said and accusingly looking at them. Yeah, we're sorry. Ron said, give me his only brother a star look. You better hope this doesn't affect Tony's magic. I hope so too, Hermione said. I understand what Fred and George were mumbling about and to each other when Tony ran out, thinking that Tony was out again to risk his face and structure magic to protect the three students from Snape's wrath. Tony looked at him slowly. I'm sorry, I just need to make sure that the first years didn't go through the same phase as the last first years before them. Toy looked at Fred and George, who shivered and said they were sorry a long time ago. Fred and George had the same mistake. Toy ran back, ran up to set up them for himself. Many years ago, he did it before. Over the years, Toy always risked his face. A magic structure to save people from Snape's wrath. Tony looked at Percy. We're still up for our date, if that means that you don't harm your face. Percy said, looking at Tony. If not doing, Tony heard a mumble and uh, everyone looked. Uh oh, I'm in trouble. Why? Dumbledore's behind us, is he? Uh huh. Papa, I can explain. You did it again, did you? Dumbledore said, a uh, uh, disappointing look in his eyes. It was only because I gave saved your favorite student, Pointed at Harry, from getting an explosion. 
Expulsion. Yes, I know, but you could risk your magic again. Dumbledore said, give it to you, sad, let me look. In doing so, I must punish you, Dumbledore said. It was my punishment with no week for chocolate cake. No week for hot chocolate and hot chocolate cake. I can go for that, Tori said, giving Snape a sm Dumbledore a smile. Wait, you're okay with that? Less sugar in my body, more water and milk. I'm okay with that, Father. Love you. Dumbledore wished they would sit there in shock. McGonagall walked by and said, I told you so, and walked her away. Snape's side was wandering inside. He understood the punishment and smiled and mysteriously smiling. I understand Toy was more smarter than Dumbledore was. Toy stood by person and said, Make sure I don't drink any hot chocolate or cake on our date. No promises, Percy said, smiling. You traitor, Toy whispered back. Percy laughed and walked away to tell the till said Rick and Oliver to make sure Toy didn't drink a caught chocolate or ate and cake on their dates as well coming up this week. Wonder what happened then. Peace out here, squad.